what up y'all tim z here back at it again like you can always expect no nah, i mean and today just want to talk about this knife here you guys might recognize it you know what i mean the koenig arius all right yeah and i want to talk about why this knife sucks all right it's not it's overrated, okay? I'm gonna tell you a bunch of reasons why this is an overrated knife, okay? First of all, it's expensive, all right? So this one retails for about 650 or so, 660, I don't know. But they are hard to pick up because everyone is buying them up and reselling them for like, 800 okay they buy it for like 650 sell it for eight 850 800 whatever all right so it's hard to pick up pain in the ass when you really want a new one right secondly it's a dangerous knife okay if you're not don't fidget with this knife because if you're gonna fidget with it you're gonna eventually catch your thumb like if you push the lock bar a little bit too low like right here that blade will fall right on your thumb right there. And it cuts deep into the bone, like to the bone, all right? So it's a very dangerous knife, okay? And uh, yeah, expensive and dangerous. Also, if a kid handles your arius for some reason when you're not looking, they might be able to slice their finger right here, okay? They're gonna be able to slice their finger, all right? Like, I could stick this pen here and touch that blade. They're going to slice their finger. So that's dangerous, too. All right. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have to say. This knife is overrated. It's expensive, hard to get, and it's dangerous at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> also, it's heavy. Let's, let's check out the weight over here. All right. 4.7, 4.8 ounces. It's a heavy monster. All right, guys, I'm done with the clickbait. Um, this knife is great. <laughs> um, it's 650 or so on the used market, if you're lucky. Um, but a lot of guys are selling it for way over that, especially once you get the other uh, variations with the textured grip different color hardware, different blade finish, all that stuff. Uh, fancy pocket clips, it gets very pricey, but pick yourself up a plain one if you can get it for retail, or if you find someone who's not price gouging the shit out of theirs, all right? Um, I picked this one up for 650 used, okay? Yeah, so I mean, I did well on the price, the thing is, stop buying a lot of cheap knives and you're going to be able to afford one of these. And let me tell you something. Once you have this one, you know how every... Oh, shit. I almost cut myself. Once you have the Koenig Arius and you handle it, like the right out of the box, I was like, damn, this thing feels like high quality. Just the look of it, all right? And the, the feel, I was just like, this thing feels nice. Feels... It, it's hard to explain. Everything just feels super premium on this versus a $200 titanium frame lock. Also, on even on stock bearings, forget it. Look at the drop shuttiness. Um, it's dangerous, all right? You can hear it. You hear that? It sounds, the action sounds great. It also drops shut like a monster. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm holding it at a bad angle so it's not drop shutting, but you know, it drops shut like a monster. And let me tell you something this knife is going to ruin your experience with other frame locks, other titanium frame locks, if drop shuttiness is the thing you care about a lot. All right. Because other frame locks, you got to like shake it down like that. Let me show you an example right here. Um, do I have one here? This is a great Tecton 
Torx set, by the way. Um, oh, I didn't put the driver away. I'll do that later. <clears throat> this is more of like what a cheaper titanium frame lock behaves like. And this is a good example already. If you compare this to like a Kaiser Cancept uh, uh, or some cheaper brands, it will be even worse than this. And this is on stock bearings, so I'm sure if I threw some skiffs on here, this thing would be uh, much better, uh, a little better at least. The, the, the detent's a little tight on this, so it might not make a difference, honestly. But that is more like what frame locks are like out there. When you, oh shit, you gotta get it over the detent ball first. Pick this up for cheap too. But yeah, this is what the old hinderers used to hang uh, handle like. And um, Kaisers will handle like this too, all right? All right, it's not terrible, but it's it's not Koenig Arius level drop shuttiness. I mean, look. All right, so this is a great knife if you only want one titanium frame lock in your collection, all right? 650, and let's be real. If you pick up a hinderer with the full titanium setup, you're gonna pay more than 650 for it probably, you know? So you're getting double titanium on the Koenig area. It's much smoother than a hinderer, 650. That's not bad, all right? Let's just be real. Um, this hinderer uh, is an XM18 triway skinny harpoon and uh, Let's see guys it looks smooth right but I, this i have to tell you something about this this isn't stock it's on aftermarket bearings they're not skiff they are taco bearings all right it's on taco bearings and i got this thing tuned well all right there's no blade play in any direction okay and it drops shut. That's after I spent, what, 20 something on taco bearings, all right? And of course, some gunny glide, okay? This thing smells like coffee right now or something. I believe it's coffee. But uh, as you can see, it drops shut. I don't b believe in buying hinderers new from hinderer or anywhere because the guy is a little bit uh, crazy, treats customers a little poorly, you know. I wish he would improve that about his company. His brand is good and should just let the product speak for itself and just let the customers say whatever they want. You know, most of them are going to defend the brand anyway. It's really petty to pick on customers when they voice their opinions, you know. So, uh, yeah, with the taco bearings, the hinderer drops shut nicely. But then again, you don't know that your hinderer is going to come out like this after you put tacos on because um, the detent is very uh, inconsistent from one hinderer to another. So what it feels like on this one is going to feel different on another. This one, has detent feels very light. Like, I could push it very easily. It doesn't dig into my thumb. But I felt some hinderers where it hurts your thumb after a while. But this flipper tab is super pointy, like it's digging into my finger. But as long as you don't fidget with it too much, you're fine. Yeah, so, but the point is that the Arius is on another level. And the sound is the best part of it. So basically, my take on the Arius is if you like titanium frame locks that drop shut, just skip all the bullshit. And buy this one, all right? Because once you have this one, you're not gonna really want to buy a cheap titanium frame lock again. It's gonna save you money in the long run, all right? Because every frame lock will feel cheap compared to this. It will save you money. So uh, yeah, and also if you want this one, I spent uh, four hundred used, and I put like twenty four dollars into ball bearings. So like four twenty four got me in action like this. All right, so not bad. 
So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you want to comment, leave a comment. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Tim Z USA. And until next time, Tim Z out.